Yo, what's up guys here, GTA Pups here, welcome back to another brand new GTA 5 video. In today's video, we're actually going to be talking about a vehicle that Rockstar accidentally leaked that's going to be a part of the uh, Cheeto Online Los Santos Drug War DLC that is going to be arriving Tuesday, December 13th, so just a couple days away from when you're watching this video, and we're going to be talking about what that vehicle could be and its real life variants and also how it actually looks in GTA Online as well. We're going to be talking about that and a whole much more. So let's get right into today's video. So guys, this was actually found yesterday right before Rockstar, you know, brought out uh, and confirmed what this update is going to be. And Tez Funds 2 actually confirmed this. This is coming from Wildbrick142 on Twitter. He's a data miner. He's, he's always finding interesting stuff in the files. And Tez said, Found by Wildbrick142, Rockstar accidentally leaked a new HAL Special Works vehicle coming within the next G2 Online update. With its code name in the files being Entity 3. And again, Wildbrick in his regular tweet said, Thanks to a goof up with the HAL Special Works test ride on Xbox Series X, we now know the next HAL's upgradable vehicle coming to the upcoming DLC, the Entity 3, hashtag GTA Online. So again, this confirms that we're going to be getting a third entity, which is pretty sweet. Again, I do love the entity vehicles. And again, you can see there's going to be three of them. Again, you're probably wondering what are the uh, first one and the second one. Well, the first entity that we actually got was day one in GTA Online, and that was the entity XF. Again, you can purchase it on the Legendary Motorsports site for $795,000. And of course, it's in the supercar class. And again, it's based off of a... 2002 to 2010 Co Coingsta CC. Again, I hope I'm saying that uh, that name right. But again, this is pretty reasonable price car coming from day one. So again, if you don't have it on your garage or want to buy it again, just per se because of another one coming into the game within this update, go ahead and do so because it's on the cheaper side. Well, then Rockstar, you know, must have loved this entity. Uh, XF car that they introduced another one back within the Southern San Andreas Super Sports Series update, and that is the Entity XXR. That is two million three hundred five thousand dollars purchased on the Legendary Motorsports site, and that is based off of the twenty fifteen Coingsta one. Again, this Coingsta brand is based off a Swedish supercar. Um, brand over in Sweden. So again, that is the history on that. So you're probably wondering, guys, what is the Entity 3 going to be? And again, there are three choices that Rockstar could take and put in the game, real life variants, and it's going to be actually be two of the Quigsta cars that we do not have in the game. And the first likely one that I could see Rockstar doing is the Quistiga Jesco. And again, this is, uh, Jesco is a limited production and mid-engine sports car produced by the Swedish uh, auto automobile. And it was introduced at the 2019 Genevieve Motor Show. And again, the car succeeds a Adrian. Again, the name Jesco is a tribute to the company's Founder father, Jesko von Kauswingsta. Again, has the same name. It looks like a family, uh, you know, founder of this car. Now, again, here's what the Kauswingsta Jesko looks like in real life. Again, it's your supercar. Again, it, it kind of looks like the Entity XXR in the game right now. But it's just a tad, you know, different in a ways uh, because of... The car, and again, if you want to see what the Jesco actually looks like, because again, the community, uh, you know, knows how to mod this stuff in. Again, there's a mod for it in GTA on GTA Online. Again, here's what it looks like in, 
you know, in Los Santos. Again, pretty much the same. It kind of looks sick in a way. Again, I, I would, you know, like to get my hands on this car coming within the update because, again, it would just look sick to drive in. So that is that. Now, the other choice that Rockstar has is a pretty recent vehicle that got announced, and it would be the Coswingsa Gemra, if I'm saying that name right. And again, this is a limited production four-seat plug-in hybrid Grand Tour to be manufactured by Coixa. Again, it was un unveiled on March 3rd, 2020, right before the pandemic and COVID, and it was actually canceled at the Geneva Motor Show. So Coixa had to, uh, you know, reveal it themselves. And again, this would be one of a kind that Rockstar, if they wanted to introduce it to the game, because again, it's a super car, but it has four, you can fit four people in it. And again, it is hybrid. So again, it is, you know, runs on electric. There's no motor or anything like that. And this vehicle is not even out yet. So again, Rockstar would be making some very bald moves and making, you know, history per se, uh, to, you know, bring this game into GT Online because it's, you know, not supposed to be out until, like, 2024. And they're only, like, selling 300 units of it if I, you know, read it right on Google. So, again, that is a unique car. And, again, this is what it looks like. You can see it's, you know, it kind of looks like a sports car, but it's actually a supercar. And, again, it, you know, it does. You can fit four people in there again it has a big touch screen inside it kind of looks like the tesla inside in in some ways so again i think that is pretty cool again i would love to you know ride in one of these uh koenigs was uh vehicles because they do look sick when i was researching all this stuff for you know today's video so again i think the likelihood of rockstar taking the jesco over the Gameron is likely, again, I think that's what Rockstar is going to do, but I can't rule out the Gameron coming in the future to G2 Online or maybe uh, in the Los Santos Drugs War, uh, you know, update. Again, this Gemra car, you know, going off of uh, being one of the most expensive cars, either the Jesco and that, again, is probably going to top you know, 2.5, 2 point, you know, between 2.5 and 2.9 million dollars, maybe even reaching 3 million dollars to even buy this car, because as we stand, the entity XXR is about 2.3 million dollars, and I'm sure Rockstar is going to try to top that price, so again, you're going to need lots of money for the entity vehicles that are going to be coming in the game that one that was leaked in the coding by you know rockstar game so again i don't know from you guys in those comment section down below are you looking forward to this new entity car do you think it's going to be the jesco or the gamram again i want from you guys in those comment section down below so guys if you are ready for the g2 online los santos drugs war uh DLC update, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe for more GTA videos like this. Again, my name is GTA Pups here, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.